since last one week period we have seen smart recovery in gold and silver prices we have seen due to us and china trade tension gold prices gained by nearly 1% whereas silver prices gained by around uh, 1 and a half to 2% Uh, still we expect market should trade in a very narrow range in international we can see the range between 1670 to 1720 dollar whereas on domestic side we have seen rupee has appreciated very sharply so unless and until 46500 doesn't break we can see a range bound trade between 44000 to 46500 for gold mcs uh, on uh, international we can see this range could be around 1670 to 1720 overall we expect whatever the factor that has been uh, watchful in last couple of months has been now discounted so we expect some profit booking could be trigger for next one week period in gold prices maybe a drop towards 1640 or 44500 could possible on mcx gold uh, coming on silver internationally we have seen uh, silver managed to hold 15 dollar mark but overall we expect this uh, range could be on a negative side maybe a drop towards 1420 could possible in international on domestic side 40000 is acting as a very sound and uh, psychological level of 40000 will keep on holding uh, some positive news has been seen from the china side where base metal has started uh, recovering but overall we expect range could be between 40000 to 44000 for silver last week we have seen living copper and uh, lead everything has been started recovering we have seen a broader range price movement for all base metal prices we have seen copper prices moved in a range of 395 and 405 still we expect things have been slightly mixed for base metal prices one side we have already seen us and china trade tension is still uh, is alive because of that demand concern could possible in the market whereas on the other side we have seen import data and export data from china is been very much lucrative since uh, comparable from december onwards so maybe some support could be possible for all base metal prices but upside is really restricted as other economies are still under concern coming on the individual level uh, side copper we expect unless and until 412 doesn't break on mcs we can see a price moving between 392 almost 410 in the range uh aluminum prices has already uh, taking a very good support at 130 level but overall supply concerns has been supported right now but uh, demand is also been uh, very weak because of that we see range bound trade between 128 to 135 aluminum and similarly lead can be trading in a range of 128 to 135 coming on zinc prices we have seen a smart recovery in zinc prices to test retest again 150 to 153 level but unless and until 155 level doesn't break we can see again a, a sharp fall in uh, prices to the tune of 148 level long term we are bullish for copper zinc and uh, nickel prices but short term prices may trade in a very narrow range coming on the nickel prices very wide uh, volatility has been observed in the counter between the range of 900 to 960 unless and until 970 doesn't break we are expecting a range bound trade and uh, prices can again retest the level of 900 no doubt china is been now open up but still other economies are suffering from uh, corona impact so i think it will take time for next couple of months prices would be sideways to positive only but a major buying trigger would definitely come in the month of june and july only as of now things would be uh, in the range for uh, base metal prices last week we have seen strong recovery in all energy product we have seen wti crude oil or on mcx crude oil prices gained by almost 40% whereas natural gas prices gained by 2.5% coming on uh, crude oil prices first we have seen a strong recovery after things has been discounted we have already seen storage issue uh, in the month of april has made crude oil prices to test a negative price on wti in international whereas on domestic side also we have seen strong recovery has been observed after major economies is started working on uh, to be open because of that some low level buying has been observed but still i think uh, supply is ample as compared to demand right now overall we have already seen iea figure has shown that out of 100 uh, million barrel demand almost 30 million barrels are out of market and only 10 million barrel production cut has been uh, announced already so i think the market is oversupplied upside would be really limited coming on the level in international market uh, we see wta uh, wti prices can go up to 26 dollar but not beyond that level as ample supply is available right now and also uh, opening up a economy doesn't means demand is immediately starting up because factories and uh, other uh, factors are being, uh, still in lockdown situation only so demand may take some time 
to be in the market whereas uh, in uh, level wise on, on mcx we have already seen prices has gained very sharply and right now trading around 1850 level maybe a jump towards 19 1950 could possible but looking to the spread between may and june contract it is clearly that upside would be really limited so we expect in next couple of days we may see a some bounce towards 1900 to 1950 but holding below 2000 level on mcx can give us a, again a target of 1500 to 1400 also so slightly be cautious also margins are quite high on mcx uh, because of that i think uh, major buying would not take place in current scenario coming on natural gas prices a sharp rally towards 160 almost we have seen in natural gas prices after the big pipe pipeline shutdown we have seen that has supported the prices right now industrial demand is poor in uh, international market so we expect prices can trade in a range of 140 to 160 overall short term period we are expecting a weakness to continue for natural gas prices but long term definitely prices are more attractive in the level of 130 135 if we get that level a long term buying is been seen in natural gas prices thank you